Hi, this is Dr. Letitia Wright, and today's Right Place, we've got a great guest for you. She'll be a fantastic inspiration for all of you authors that are waiting, waiting, waiting to be published. And then we're gonna talk with Diane Cooper. She has an art gallery, wine tasting place, is one of the best places to hang out in Rancho Cucamonga. You see nothing but the cream de la cream when you just drop in and hang out there. And there's beautiful art. So stay with us, this is The Right Place. Thanks for staying with us. I want to introduce to you one of my absolute, absolute favorite guests. She's very hard to get on the show. She's only been on the show once before, but I want to welcome Roberta Lauderdale, and this is my mom, Roberta Lauderdale. <laughs> it's wonderful to be here. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. You Thanks. are a new author, published Zoe Life. You are part of the devotional series. Yes. And you wrote a couple of days uh, devotions right. on... Celebrating, uh, celebrating life, life to mm -hmm. celebrate life. Yes, July 29th and July 30th are my days. Okay. Right. And I wrote about celebrating life because we often don't take time to celebrate our lives, to uh, appreciate all the wonderful blessings that we do have. We're running around worrying about what we're going to do, um, how we're going to get this, things like that, and there's just so much for us to celebrate every day when we wake up in the morning, just start celebrating. Okay, now this is a great tribute to you because I know you've always dreamed about being published and this is just the first of your publications, but it took a long time to, to kind of get there, huh? Well, I've, yes, this first hardcover, I've had um, credits, writing credits before, but not a book, and um, this collaboration was a wonderful opportunity and also very inspiring because now it's spurred me to go on and do my other writing. So I've already started uh, to, I've been doing, you know, a little here and there, but I've really kicked into gear. So it, it's been very inspirational for me. And I enjoy reading, you know, everyone else's devotionals uh, as well. It's a wonderful book, very well put together. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, with, with all of this writing, what would you say to people who are, there's, you know, they haven't reached their goal yet, and it's been a really long time? I think that you, every day is a new day, and just you have to make a commitment that you're going to write. Um, there are a lot of books out there to tell you, you know, how to do and make a plan. Uh, I think it's important to write something every day um, even if it's not your particular um, media that you write, that something specific that you're writing for, but it's good to just get in the habit of writing something every day and um, make that commitment and trust, you really have to trust that God has something for you to say and it's in you and he wants you to, to express that. So. Okay. You guys can get the Zoe Life Inspired book at robertalauderdale.com. Even if you didn't get it before 2012 or at the beginning of the year, there's still, there, all throughout the year is a great time to get a devotional, have some meditation time before you start your day, and get going. Because the days that you passed and missed, you might have a not so great day, you can go back and read it twice. So don't worry about when you got <laughs> this book, just go to robertalauderdale.com. And thank you so much for thank you. Uh, being a guest. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much for having me. So I can be <laughs> here doing this. I'm having a good time. So well, <laughs> thank, thank you for making me such a proud mother. I'm, I'm very, thank very you. proud. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, um, we're going to talk with Diane Cooper. Stay with us. This is the right place. This is a public announcement. CNNMoney.com reports that in some areas of the country, buyers are scooping up homes for as little as $1,000. Foreclosures are at an all-time high. Government and private banks are liquidating these homes now. If you currently rent a house or apartment, you may call now and learn how to receive your free list of these homes. All others may call tomorrow. Every house must be sold. This is a public announcement. 
Call 1-800-315-1787. That's 1-800-315-1787. Do you owe the IRS or state more than $10,000 in back taxes? Well, you can stop stressing right now. At Blue Tax, our team of tax professionals will remove bank levies and wage garnishments fast. Stop all collection activity immediately and negotiate a settlement on your entire tax debt. You could end up paying way less than you owe. 800-931-8077 for a free consultation. That's 800-931-8077. And remember, you heard it from me, Max, at Blue Tax. Wow! Attention, this is a special health alert for everyone with diabetes. According to the FDA, prolonged use of the medication Actos may be associated with an increased risk of bladder cancer. If you or someone you know has taken Actos and has been diagnosed with bladder cancer, call the number on the screen immediately. Don't wait. Call the number on the screen right now. If you or someone you know has taken Actos and has been diagnosed with bladder cancer, call the number on the screen immediately. Don't wait. Call the number on the screen right now. Welcome back. Uh, you probably think Diane's face looks really familiar, and she does. She's from Red Hill Barbecue. But now we're talking about the Hourglass Gallery and mm. Wine tasting. Yes. How did you come up with the idea for that? Because you were doing very well. You didn't have to start another business mm -hmm. if you didn't want to. Mm -hmm. What was the idea behind it? Well, the idea behind it, I am recently married and my husband is also an artist, which was the best kept secret for two years after we got married. Uh, we were always enjoying um, the days and admiring the sky and the clouds and he'd always say he can do that. So uh, one day I called him aside and I said, can you make something for uh, the holidays in December for the uh, buffet mantle, snowy and cold since California is also sunny and nice, I'd like to see a snow scene. So he made the most fabulous scene I've ever seen and I asked, oh, uh, can you draw faces? And he goes, yes. I asked him to draw Oprah. and. He drew Oprah, I said, well, can you do the president? And from there, he drew the president. I was like, okay, we have something here. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he's about to retire this year, and I have a honeydew list with him doing something he put on the shelf. As a father, he um, raised two wonderful children and decided he wasn't gonna be a starving artist as he provided for them at the, as they grew up. Mm -hmm. So after his retirement from his career as a peace officer, mm -hmm. um, I'm introducing him back to something he loved doing and he's so excited about it. That's an awesome partnership. Yeah. That's, so how did you start learning about wine? Most of us are mm -hmm. very intimidated. Oh. And um, when I went, he says, hey, you know, I told him what I like and yes. he introduced me to a new wine. So he seems like he already knows. Oh. How did you get there? Oh my gosh. Well, because <laughs> he's been pouring me lots of glasses of wine. <laughs> no, I enjoy, I've always loved wine. I mm -hmm. go wine tasting. Mm -hmm. I have girlfriends over. We always have wine parties. So wine have always been a passion of mine. So the two together, we married. Mm -hmm. um, art and wine together, there was nothing like it. And I'm always looking for something new. Mm -hmm. In business, I think, in this economy, if you're gonna do something, do something everybody is not doing. Got it. So I thought, to make it fun, uh, I wanted to feel like I was socializing every time I went to work. I wanted to feel like I was at home, so I made it warm and cozy. So mm -hmm. I, I want my guests to feel that way when they come into my gallery, and I wanna feel good when I go to work. Now, a lot of artists, uh, I know you have a little bit of a waiting list, a lot of artists mm -hmm. want to show yes. at your gallery. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about how important it is for artists to show their work and in, in sort of the business light? You have a lot of business acumen and I would mm -hmm. love for you to share with our audience some of your great business tips. So. Oh, wow. Well, I, first of all, the artists, the artists, I have some wonderful artists. Um, I just had a show with Greg the Glassman Holder, who's fabulous work. I have a, a gentleman by the name of Richard Sturgis hanging in our gallery. Mm -hmm. And our, our art, artist has come to the gallery word of mouth. Mm -hmm. I, I've been doing some research, I put, put the word out there, and when people see certain artists, they invite them over to the gallery. We take a look at what they're doing, and from there on, we have a, quite a waiting list. We're getting ready to do some fabulous shows coming up this summer. Uh, we do a lot of things in the community because we have some great artists just right here at home that mm -hmm. needs to be exposed. I think it's very important for us to keep culture going and introducing it to the children so they can come by and see it and letting our artists know that they're appreciated because it's, it's a God-given gift. It's something mm -hmm. that everybody couldn't do. Mm -hmm. I, I can't draw a straight stick man and so mm -hmm. I'm amazed when somebody really, really gives some beautiful artwork that. and I was mm -hmm. admiring your artwork in here. Beautiful. I love color. Mm -hmm. So. 
I'm, I'm happy to be able to expose and introduce my artists to the community. What is your favorite wine that you're serving right now? Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Which one? <laughs> it's very, what very do, What do you sort of recommend? I know your, your husband, he will yes. uh, ask the person what they like, and he's mm -hmm. really able to recommend something that's very close. But what yes. is your, your own personal likes? Wow, my personal and favorite um, wine, I like Cabernet Sauvignons. Mm -hmm. um, the cabs, my favorite cab in the house right now is called um, Kerman. It is from Argentina, and it's a wonderful full-bodied wine. Mm -hmm. Now, what I recommend to some people who are really not into wines and just starting, but really like the idea of hanging out and being sociable and getting mm -hmm. into your wines, Stella Rosa is the perfect start. Okay. It's, one of our, our, it's one of our biggest hits right now. So just gradually start off with your sweets, semi-sweets, medium, full bodies, but we have something for everybody there. Okay, and mm. then you also have events. Yes, lots of events. The uh, venue is 1,900 square feet, <coughs> excuse me, and we host lots of different events. We mm -hmm. had a New Year's Gala Ball. Mm -hmm. We do lots of fundraisers for a lot of different nonprofit organizations. Mm -hmm. We have a fabulous Valentine dinner coming up. And what, uh, another thing I haven't seen anybody do, we're having a, um, a event for singles for Valentine's Day. So okay. we want, and it's very important for singles to know they're just as special as couples are. Very good, very mm -hmm. good. So there's really, it's a great space that people can kind of use their imagination and just yes. marry it with your decorations and your wines yes. and the food that you offer. Mm -hmm. Then they can just create their own thing. Exactly. Okay. We have the space, just come and create. Great, yes. great, great. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about Red Hill Barbecue because that's what everybody oh, knows boy. you from. <laughs> yes. Just to toss back a little bit because they're going to yes. say, why didn't you all screw about that? No, I can hear <laughs> the questions coming. But just yes. uh, before we go, just one more uh, advice that you really learned from building Red Hill Barbecue. Well, from building Red Hill Barbecue, um, thank God I can say we've been... Um, in the Inland Empire for 21 years, Red Hill Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Rancho Cucamonga, 17 years now. Um, it, start off with a dream and build on it. Don't give up. Let it be something you're passionate about. I loved cooking. I love cooking and entertaining. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel like I'm still in the business. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I love doing. Very good, very good. Well, you're very inspirational <laughs> to me. You always have been. Thank you. You've always uh, had your arms open and mm -hmm. welcomed me and always very Thank generous you. with advice, so I just wanted to let you know I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Wow. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Uh, do check out the Hourglass uh, Gallery. No, I'm sorry, hourglassartgallery.com. Hourglassartgallery.com. Come to the events, try out some wine, come and relax. We'll be right back. When we come back, we're going to show you electric cars at the Southern California Edison event. Stay with us. This is The Right Place. Hi, I'm Dr. Leticia Wright. You might know me from The Right Place TV show. It's my weekly television talk show where we talk about entrepreneurship and business. I have guests who are able to give you great information on growing your own business. Today, I want to share with you a business that almost anyone can do and make a profit and do good at the same time. It's called Fusion Excel. Fusion Excel does well by doing good. It's grown in over 160 countries all over the world. Fusion Excel has donated over half a million dollars to nonprofits this year alone. My favorite program is the One Million Sewing Machines for India. The founder of Fusion Excel, Mr. Paul Ting, understood that if a woman in India has a sewing machine, she can take in sewing jobs and take her family out of poverty. He made a pledge to donate one million sewing machines to India through Fusion Excel. Fusion Excel is a business where your success levels are up to you. We know multiple streams of income are important to weather the volatile economic crisis we're experiencing. Your own Fusion Excel business could be a great way to stabilize your income. The Fusion Excel pendant is infused with scalar energy and is safe for pregnant women as well as people with pacemakers. Now, I'm not an expert on scalar energy. You can Google the details on it, but I do know that people have more energy and feel more healthy wearing it. We can even muscle test you to see if it can work for you. We look forward to helping you feel better, create that extra income, and make the world a better place. Remember, ignoring one's conscience is neither safe nor right.
This is a fantastic segment about electric cars. It's sponsored by Southern California Edison. I want you to take a minute to check this out. Hey, it's Dr. Letitia Wright, and we're here at the Edison SeaTac, our actually our energy education building. And I'm here with Ed Kerr. He's going to be talking to us about what we need to think about when we're getting electric cars. Electric cars are definitely part of the now, part of the future, and they help all of us live in a better world. Thank you for coming to the show. Explain the two types of electric vehicles that people have to choose from. Well, you've actually got lots of different types, but really the two primary plug-in type of vehicles is the pure battery electric car. So a good example of that would be the uh, Nissan LEAF that we're seeing on the roads today. And then the extended range electric vehicle or the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. And a good example of that would be the Chevrolet Volt, the vehicle that I have behind me here. And so, uh, yeah, those are primarily the two different types. But there are many types of electric drive. You know, there's the gasoline hybrid, uh, as I said, the battery electric, the plug-in hybrid, the plug-in hybrid fuel cell, and then maybe even the fuel cell vehicle in the future. So lots of different choices in the future. Now, when we have the, uh, the plug-in hybrid that has gasoline in it, a lot of people think that these cars have very, very limited range. Let's talk about that. Okay, sure. Well, one, one statistic that's worth keeping in the back of your mind, 70% of the market commutes less than 40 miles a day. All right? So we have cars today, the internal combustion engine car today, has about 350 miles of range. All right? You're not using that every single day. Some customers do, but not everybody, right? So with the battery electric car, you have about 100 miles of range, which is great because every night you fill it back up when you go home to plug in. And with the plug-in hybrid electric car, you know, range, depending on the brand, somewhere between 10 to 40 miles of all electric range, and then it hands over and you have this extended range capability in the vehicle of maybe another 300 miles using gasoline. Okay. When uh, we are getting ready to buy the car, how, what do we need to do to prepare our home? Because as you have said before, most houses are not ready for the plug-in yet. You have to get it ready. So what do we have right. to think about and what's the process? Right. So you've kind of gone through the sales process. You've test driven the cars. You're really excited about getting your plug-in vehicle. You know, being that 21st century test pilot, now, before you drive the car home, contact the utility. And what we can do is we can walk you through a process and help you understand the choices and the options that you need to be thinking about when you fuel at home. All right? Today we go to a gas station. Tomorrow you can fuel at home. That's one of the, one of the big advantages is you're kind of doing it and you're not even conscious about it because you're asleep. Your car is filling up. Now, President Obama uh, recently visited the Pomona mm -hmm. electric vehicle uh, technology oh, yeah. a couple of years ago. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell us about his visit, what he thought, what was the impression? Well, it was a, an incredible honor for the company and a, and a personal honor for me. I was with our chairman, uh, Ted Craver, and uh, we worked hard to uh, put on a good demonstration for the president. He was well briefed. He uh, asked uh, very engaging questions. He was very articulate. Uh, many of our engineers were as excited as I was to uh, meet, meet the president, and uh, I think he really enjoyed it. And afterwards, he then delivered a, a major policy speech where he committed uh, the, government, the government and the nation to really encouraging the uh, development of a uh, robust um, home uh, domestic supplier base for uh, electric vehicles, for plug-in hybrids and, and battery electrics. So, you know, that was, uh, that was two years ago. We've come a long way since then. And uh, today we have many factories that are uh, already built or that are being built uh, to really uh, help to power our transportation future. And how many cars do you see really coming on to, uh, electric vehicle cars, coming onto the scene in the next 10 years? Well, it, you know, it's going to be uh, slower than perhaps we all, we all want. Uh, this is really a generational thing, as, as uh, I've talked about before with you. But I think that uh, we think in uh, certainly in Edison service territory, we could have uh, by 2020, we're thinking upwards of uh, 400, 450,000 
uh, plug-in vehicles of many different types on the road. You know, that's one of the exciting parts. Today we have, you know, really two major brands. Uh, next year we have, uh, you know, half a dozen more launching. Uh, so everybody's getting into the act with plug-in vehicles. So I think that uh, certainly we're going to benefit from it, but I think our kids, they're the ones that are really going to, to reap the benefits of this new technology. Very good. Thank you so much, Ed, for joining us. Hey, you need to go onto the SCE site and figure out what your rate plan's going to be, get your house prepared, and move into the future. Thanks. Thanks for taking a moment to check that out, and we appreciate Southern California Edison for their sponsorship. I want to show you something really cool I found. It's called a bobo wrap, and what it is is that it's an way to really save on paper and all that and have something that lasts. So when you need to wrap a gift, now you can get this great material with this great little uh, tassel on it and it comes in all different colors, comes in big sets, but you can create a natural wrap around the gift and they also get to keep this. Bubble wraps have been used for clothing, for decorations, for just all kinds of things. And if you're afraid to be creative or don't know how to wrap it, it even comes with instructions on it. So you don't have to sew anything, you don't have to buy any of those tacky bags. This is perfect for a wine that you're giving away. We just had a guest on that has plenty of wine where you can go buy it and give it away. But this would be perfect to wrap around it. You don't have to throw it away. You can keep it, and it's very, very elegant. You can create a hobo bag. You can create anything you want. Your imagination, it's up to you. And these are called bobo wraps. So we'll be giving some of these away when you go to rightplacetv.com and put in a comment and let us know what you think about the bobo wraps. But you can find them at bobowrap.com. I want to thank everybody for watching. It's been a great show today. The Right Place TV show is really here to give you resources to get your business on the ground and running. I want to see success. I want to hear about your success. So be sure to email me at rightplace, at info at rightplacetv.com. I'm also on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter, Dr. Right number one on Twitter. So, you know, those of you who say, I can't find you, just Google me. You can literally Google Dr. Right and I come up. So. Um, there's a lot of things going on at rightplacetv.com, a lot of great resources and a lot of great goodies for those of you who are faithful viewers. So I just want to appreciate you and say, remember, ignoring one's conscience is neither safe nor right, and I'll see you next time.